hello everyone today we will discuss that how we can calculate the speed of a satellite in a circular orbit so generally we have two types of satellite one we call natural satellite the example of nat natural satellite in our system or our galaxy system is uh, a moon uh, for example moon revolving around the earth and we have also artificial satellite which is generally sent for the communication purposes so we will call that communication satellites uh, the best example for that is geostationary satellites so today we will learn that how uh, this for example if we consider that this one is a satellite so we call it uh, mass of the satellite and let's say this is the earth yeah, so we will call it mass of the earth and the distance between these two bodies will be r for example from here to here the distance is r so we can we can calculate in such a way that uh, as we know that in this case for example it is revolving in the circular orbit so the centripetal force is actually in this case equal to the gravitational pull of the earth and we have discussed that centripetal force is actually uh, m uh, v square divided by r uh, in this case is this is m is so we call it m is v square divided by r and the gravitational force between two bodies we have discussed that is g capital g which is the gravitational constant m s and mass of the earth divided by distance between these two bodies square so we can cancel m s with the m s and r one r will be cancelled out with this one so we have a net result v squared is equal to g m e divided by r so by taking square root both sides we can get v is equal to uh, g capital g m e divided by r and under the root so this is actually the equation which can tell us that what is the speed of this satellite it may be moon it may be any artificial satellite which shows us that this depend on the the distance from the center of the earth to the body or to the satellite and it doesn't depend on the mass of the satellite this equation tell us about that so uh, if for example if we have uh, some values and we want to calculate uh, the total distance between these two bodies so that is uh, actually the height from here if we see here this is height from the earth surface to the satellite and this is actually from here to here this is radius of the earth so we can replace our equation uh, with this we will be now r is actually the radius of the earth and distance of the satellite from the earth so we can say that this speed will be equal to capital g and mass of the earth divided by r e plus h and square root from this equation we can say uh, or we can calculate the speed of any satellite uh, from the uh, which revolve around the earth in circular orbit and for example this is for the circular orbit so we can say or we can ask for example if earth is not uh, completely spare so maybe the orbit will not be a complete circle this may be an elliptical path or we can say this is an elliptical path so in this situation maybe the height at this distance may be 
smaller than the height at this distance so we can ask that question and we can think about that and in the coming videos we may have discussion on that for example if it is not complete circle or uh, the circular uh, path so uh, what we can we can say in that situation and thank you so much for this video and please like subscribe and share and if you have any question please uh, let me know in the comments box